and here we go it's another beautiful day on the sky block and uh, what can I say it's it's another wonderful day on the sky block and the birds are not chirping in the sky because there are no birds in the sky which is lovely because they don't wake me up early yes I'm one of those people um, <laughs> I can't help but I just don't like I'm not a big fan of uh, birdies but uh, well not in the morning anyway so what we're going to do we're going to finish that and that can go in there and that can go there ooh blaze powder nice so we're going to try for an iron thingy appetite appetite what the hell is appetite I'm curious about that. Is that it? Ah. It's used in forestry. What's it used for? Okay, it's. Interesting. Okay. I'm guessing it's for some kind of fertilizer or something in forestry. Uh, that one's going to be an interesting mod pack mod because I've never used it. I mean, I've it's been in mod packs that I've played, but I've never actually made any use of it. Oh come on, give me a give me some iron. You're joking me, right? Still no iron. I'm also hoping for a diamond and or some and some emeralds. Actually, I need to check something while I'm thinking about it. I want a terrain smasher, and a terrain smasher needs. Oh, terrain smasher is really cheap, relatively speaking. Anyway, that's awesome. Okay, I think we can. Oh no, it's not. It needs an inver pickaxe. Oh, that's irritating. That means I do need the. Uh, furnace before I can make a train smasher and an auto clicker. No, that's not it. Um, activator? Is that it? Autonomous activator. Holy crap. Two diamonds, two emeralds. That's going to be expensive. Okay. Okay, so I need to get the furnace up and running. Fun, fun, fun. I need to Aha. Now do we have iron? We have two iron. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more than this. This is another thing I'm going to do. What the um. Okay, that's irritating. I'm mostly going to do this sieving off camera because it's irritating and I know how boring it is. And that's okay, because I'm going to need some glass so that can come out. I'm going to need, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20 glass. Should be enough. Well, it won't be enough, but we'll pretend it is. Still only two iron. It's surprising how iron is such a common ore in a normal Minecraft world, and yet it's so uncommon to drop in this, and you use so much iron. You're kidding me, right? Again? Okay, I'm going to get rid of some of this cobble because it's driving me nuts. What's that? Oh, lapis. Nice. Actually, I'm going to move the iron ore down because I want to... Well, because I want to. <laughs> and also, it'll, I'll know then when I have enough to make a cobble uh, iron gravel. Oh, 
I'd like to point out, I've just broken half a stack of gravel and I have two iron. I have a crap load of copper. Oh, that's so irritating. I still have plenty of... Oh, we have another iron. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Yes. Okay. Iron. And that gets planted. I need... Where are my hammers? To quote Jeremy Clarkson, where's my hammer? And this will give you some... T doing it this way sometimes gives you extra resources. Like, I've got an extra piece of... Gr sand. This will probably give me an extra piece of... Oh, hang on. Should I have done that that quickly? Oh, I should have paid more attention. <laughs> oh, done. Cool. So I can claim a reward. Awesome. So that's one more down. But yeah, um, if you do this, you can smelt the iron or dust. Which is cool and everything, but... I'm not going to do any more of this on camera now because it's a pain in the arse and boring as hell for ye. Oh no, that's bone meal. That can go back here. With the other precious, precious bone meal, which isn't going to be in any way precious for much longer. I'm probably going to need to repair that. And uh, I think I need another. Yes, I do. I need another chest and that's going to go actually I'm going to get two chests I'm going to I'm going to make a building materials chest because outside because this is just ridiculous so that's a building material actually I think I have some more of that inside somewhere Oi! what the hell Talk about glitchy. That's ridiculous. Okay. And that I probably need. Yeah. So I need to repair my pickaxe. I made a flint pickaxe. Oh, I have loads of flint now. I actually made a flint pickaxe while I was playing. That's awesome. I don't need to worry about using a lousy wooden put it pickaxe anymore. Ha! Your time is done. Now, let's see. How do I... That goes in. Clay. Hang on. Didn't I? Oh, no. I, I got rid of this. That, didn't I? Yes, I did. And that can go in there. Um, and let's find out what we have in this. Sound muffler. Hooray! I just, just what I needed! Oh, yay! Not. Um, okay, I don't have amber in that. I don't think amber is useful for very much, but it'll be a nice decorative one. Now, I'm just going to build enough of my... my platform back here. So I'm going to put my uh, smeltering furnace over there. So I'm going to uh, just get a reasonably safe platform, a reasonably safe path to it, and I'm just going to fill out the platform space underneath the, directly underneath the gap, the, the hollow in the middle of the island. Um, Why'd you do that? That's irritating. And it's gone now. Talk about glitchy. Um, I'm a big fan of paths that are three wide in Minecraft. You're very unlikely to fall through, fall out of one if you do it this way. Uh, fall off of one even. Um, I really need to get a builder's wand. But to get a builder's wand, I need to get diamonds. And to get diamonds, I need to save a crap load of gravel. So. That'll do. Now, I'm trying to 
remember. It's the base of it is three by three, and then the base of a furnace is three by three. I think. Fill this, it's not taking very long. It's a much smaller space than I thought it was. Although I may double up the height of this platform, which, like I said, is something I will definitely do off camera because it's going to take freaking ages. But if I do a double one, it'll give me a, um, a space to uh, let's see, one, two. Oh, I could even go up three. If I made it three deep, it would give me space to build into for my piping and power supply and generation and what have you. Um, yeah, so we're not going to get as far as I'd hoped today. I might as well start making my furnace parts and get my furnace in and if I can get as far as an Invar pickaxe I'll be very happy. As far as a train smasher I should say. That's not going to be too bad going if I can get there. Okay, I'm going to need glass. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, tinkers. Okay, first of all I should really check what do I need. I need a... Seared tank, smeltery controller, smeltery drain, faucet, casting table, and seared brick. Okay, well that's easy enough. First one is just that. Second one is this. This one is that. I think that's a drain. And I have a funny feeling that it's one, two, three, four. Could be wrong about this. No, that's your glass. I need to see your tank. Okay, so maybe it's No, that's a seared window. How do I make seared tank? Ah. The one thing I didn't try, of course. And uh, let's see. Or my short casting table. Okay, well that's easy. That is that. Okay. Oh, I should stack them properly. And uh, that can go uh, back into oh no gravel. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, we should be finished that. Full heart reward badge, slimy sapling. Um, slimy sapling. I have three heart. I have three lives, and I'm going to need a source of slime, and I don't think I'm going to get another one. Short of slimes actually spawning, I'll be surprised if they do. Okay, go in there, and then go in there. Um, so what's next? Okay, do I have ferrous? I have iron. Pulverized nickel. I don't have enough. But I have enough there. Yes, this should work. I'm going to need nickel to make invar, basically. I think it's nickel makes invar. I really hope it is. I have a funny feeling it's three iron to one nickel. Could be wrong about that. I know platinum is shiny. It gives you shiny. Um, not that I have any. Ooh, big lag. 
pulverized gold, pulverized nickel, silver. Oh, no platinum, there it is. Okay, let's check it out. Invar. Invar. To make an Invar ingot, you smelt Invar blend. An Invar blend is made from iron and pulverized. Oh. Apparently that doesn't work, but that's okay. We can do this. I'm going to need a... ...bucket of lava. And we're going to go down here, and we are going to... ...build our furnace. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh... One, two, three. Two, three. We need these. I'm going to need a random block to be able to get up on. Probably not going to have enough of these actually. Well, I'll have enough to make a basic one, but. Okay. And we put that there, and that will let us put our. Uh, let's see, which way is forward? This way, I think. Back there will be my. Yes, that's forward. So we need. Gap! saving materials in this. Uh, now, what do I need here? I need a symmetry controller going on this side, and so is the so is the tank. So I need to let's see, I need to put this down. So that's one of my things and I'm gonna put a drain. Oh I'm gonna need more grout. Oh fuggery. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more grout. Is that right? It must be. Ah oh. which means that this needs to come out another block. This is not, this does not seem to like me. Okay. Now, what else do we have left? We have fancy seared brick. We need to put in the controller. We need to put in that. Okay. So, for now, we can. Do I have any more? Yeah, I have loads. I'm gonna make more grout. I'm going to need at least two more faucets. Three, actually. No, four. Yeah, I'm going to have five, drain five drains and um, I'm going to need that, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need to put the clay down. I don't know if that's any faster, but we'll see. 16. Mm. 
like I said, I plan on making quite a big furnace. I know that there is a high temperature furnace which is used in, which I presume they're going to have in this for, um, do that, do that, uh, I can't think of the word, for making steel. And it's actually quite a nice, um, it's quite a nice mod, even if it is kind of irritating. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to cook, I will go down and finish building up that side place of the place. You'll see where I'm going with this once I have this done. Basically, these, this is going to be the ground, this is going to be floor level. So, um, yeah, that will, I'm not, it's just sort of a way that I usually play, that I usually do this. Um, I have a real fondness for putting them at ground level. It just makes life easier in some ways. Well, it does for me at least. Like I said, this is going to be built up 3D. It gives me some safety, fa a certain amount of safety when it comes to um, accidentally killing myself by cutting through. Which, let's face it, is going to happen at some point. Um, let's see, what can I do? I can put down my controller. Because this is where the controller will go. That's where the tank will go. That's just a block. How many of these do I have? Um, yeah, I'm not even going to worry about making this pretty. <laughs> it's a foundry, who cares? Okay, that goes there. And right now there are people all over the internet going, why in the hell are you using so many resources to make a fort? And, well, the thing about it is, one of the most annoying things with these forges is emptying them quickly. You just can't. And because of that, I'm not really a fan of the traditional way of doing them. See? Smeltery is now working. Awesome. So we'll throw this in. Hopefully I'll get some invar and I'll be able to get my train smasher. Where's the sun? Ah, midday. Interesting. Okay, let's see. I will call this episode a day right here. And uh, I will be back on Monday with, well, from right here. So, uh, bye.